Magandang hapon po. Ngayong hapon na ito, as in now na, ay nagdiriwang ang Lighthouse Baptist Church Filipino Ministry ng ika-anim na anibersaryo. Panoorin natin ang ulat ni Sistine. Sistine, pasok! Salamat, Mother God. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat at maligay ang ika-anim na anibersaryo sa Lighthouse Baptist Church. At kasama po natin ngayon ang isa sa ating mga miyembro ko, si Kati Ayusa. At ipapaliwanan niyo sa atin kung paano siya nagsimula sa Lighthouse po ay mag-bless tayo sa kanyang sasya. So, Ate Alisa, ano pang ipapakita? Uh, sa una po, maganda nga ako po sa inyong lahat. Uh, uh, sumali po ko sa Lighthouse Baptist Church Filipino Ministry last um, October last year. And then po, uh, naimbita lang po ng mga kaibigan ko po. And then, hindi po ako nag-church. And uh, after that po, uh, doon na rin po ako nag-grow. And mga tanong na wala po kong work, uh, Mati po yung blessings. Uh, so far naman po, nagkaroon po ako ng trabaho. And then po, uh, ngayon po, active na rin po ako sa ministry. Uh, member na rin po ako ng choir and student po ako ng NBC Bible School. And after nun po, uh, sa Lighthouse Baptist Church po, nag-enhance po ang aking spiritual growth. Doon po nalaman yung uh, the more about Christ, kung paano niyo po, po tayo sinayin. Naging meaningful po sa akin yung bagay na po. And ngayon po, masaya na po ako nag Salamat si Stine at uh, sis Alisa. Ngayon po, maririnig naman po natin si Brother Werner na kakapanayamin ang pastor ng Lighthouse Baptist Church Filipino Ministry na si Pastor Napoleon Kahipe. Pasok, Brother Werner! Salamat si Stine. Kasama ko ngayon ang uh, buting pastor ng uh, Lighthouse Baptist Church uh, Filipino Ministry na si Pastor Napoleon Kahipe. Pastor na, ano ang masasabi niyo at uh, ngayon may nasa itaanin na taon po ang Lighthouse Baptist Church of Philippine Ministry? Hmm, maraming salamat po. Ako po ay natutuwa at nagagalang na buli kami binigaya ng Panginoon na panibagong taon. Una sa lahat, ito po ay tagumpay para sa uh, LBC Philippine Ministry, a victory that reminds us of our humble beginning. Kami po ay nagsimula na tatatlong membro lamang. At uh, by the grace of God, ang Panginoon po ay nagdala ng mga bagong membro sa Philippine Ministry at dumating ang panahon na ako'y kanyang tinawag para sa kanyang gawain at pinagkatiwala sa akin Panginoon ang uh, Philippine Ministry. Ngayon kami po ay meron ng 55 members at hindi po bumababa sa 60 ang aming attendees kada dito. Pangalawa, pagdiriwang ito, tawag para sa pagbubantay. Aming tagumpay sa nakaraay at tagumpay ngayon ay walang garantiya ng tagumpay bukas. Hindi namin hinahayaan na luwagan ang aming pagbabantay laban sa mga kaaway at maging kampante para sa kung ano tayo ngayon. Alam ko, ang kaaway ay hindi masaya na makita ang mga dalilitas na kaluluwa at lumalagong pananampalataya sa kanilang pananampalataya. Kaya dapat tayong maging taimtim sa ating panalangin, banayad sa ating lakad at tapat sa ating servisyon. Ikatlo, vision. When there is no vision, the people perish. Proverbs 29.18 I believe God has a wonderful plan to LBC. Salamat po, Pastor, sa inyong magandang mensahe. Wala na po tayong oras. Ngayon po, panoorin naman po natin ang mga magagandang alaala sa nakalipos na isang taon ng Lighthouse Baptist Church Filipino Ministry. Together we strive our calling is We press for the prize, our mission is pure. Together we strive, our eyes upon Jesus. God's word is our God, what's spirit inside. Together we strive, our calling is sure. We press for the prize, our mission is pure. Together we strive. Thank you.
been to a lot of places. I have seen a lot of things. My eyes have viewed the beauty of so many wondrous scenes. From the flowers in the springtime, in a valley deep and wide. From the majesty of mountains, by the ocean swelling tide. But these things soon fade away They seem to grow so small When I compare them To the greatest miracle of all For the greatest thing my eyes have seen Is the changing of a life When a sinner falls down on his knees And gives his heart to Christ Nothing moves my soul to tears like the joy redemption brings and to witness true salvation is the greatest thing my eyes have ever seen I have seen the dying hopeless soul find joy and peace and love I have seen them pass from death to life by the power of Jesus' blood. From the wealthy born with riches to the poor and homeless man. From the older folks to the youngest child receiving salvation's plan. There are many things I like to see before this journey ends. But they can't compare to what I see when a soul is born again. For the greatest thing my eyes have seen is the changing of a life. When a sinner falls down on his knees and gives his heart to Christ. Nothing moves my soul to tears like the joy redemption brings. And to witness true salvation is the greatest thing my eyes have ever seen. For the greatest thing my eyes have seen is the changing of a life. When a sinner falls down on his knees and gives his heart to Christ. Nothing moves my soul to tears like the joy redemption brings. And to witness true salvation is the greatest thing my eyes have ever seen. Sometimes when life seems gentle and blessings flood my way, I turn my gaze away from you and soon forget to pray. But when the sky grows darker and courage turns to Oh. 